Well, it's only fitting that tonight over at the Rip Griffin Center, the two facing off for a third time. This one for a spot in the Elite Eight would be the second Elite Eight all time for the Shaps first on the D2 level if they got the win. We join this one in the second half. Parker Hicks gets the pass beyond the arc, buries the three Shaps down nine. Hicks led with a team high 27. Now it's Roland McKenzie around the same spot. Pump fake, drives reverse layup. Be two of his 16 points. LCU down just six, 64 to 58. Later in the half, Quig Grant going off for WT. He's going to drive here, bank in the close shot. Two of his game high, 40 points. Buffs up 15. No quit in LCU, though. Fighting back, looking for the threes. Jalen Bratton drills one. Bratton would add in 11 points in this game. Then Cameron Copley, he'd rack up nine assists, but here he hits a triple of his own. Copley scores 16. Now Lloyd Daniels doing his part. He's open and hits a three for three of his 20 points. Brings the game within single digits again, 91 to 83, but too much Buffalo offense. Joel Murray adds in 24 points. Two here on a quick drive. LCU's historic season comes to an end in the Sweet 16. They lose to West Texas A&M 101 to 92.